Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate to be here. Um, today we talk about longevity. Longevity is nothing else than a happy and long life without any age-induced sicknesses. Um, at the same time, it's a huge investment opportunity. I will tell you what I do, and maybe some of you want to join me. Now, health span, uh, that's the time we live without anything which is coming from our age as a sickness. Yeah? No cardiovascular, no, uh, you know, whatever that is, Parkinson, Alzheimer, all that stuff. We don't have this in Switzerland until we are 71. So until 71 in Switzerland, you live without any too big age-induced problems. Well, the problem is, in Switzerland, we get 83 in average. By the way, we are the second best country in the world. Only Japan is better with 84.3. Now, you see the problem there. 71 years, fine, and then you live another 12 years, and in these 12 years, you will get certain sicknesses because you're old. Yeah? Or maybe the sickness is not you know, Parkinson and all the other stuff, but maybe the sickness should be called aging. Yeah? And so what I talk about today is the optimal longevity. That's nothing else than extension of your health span. I want you to get healthy old. Yeah? Or in other words, you should die as young as late as possible. Think about it. <laughs> now, who am I to tell you about that? First of all, I'm an entrepreneur. I built my first company when I was a student. I exited it. Since then, I think I founded or co-founded seven or eight companies. Uh, I'm an investor. As you have heard, I take part in this uh, TV show, Höhle der Löwen. Um, on the left side, you see my dog, Fritz. He is also here. Maybe you see it over dinner then. Uh, he's a good consultant for me. I have invested north of 20 startups. Uh, not always successful, but uh, I can say the majority was successful, and, and that uh, gives me reason to go on. Um, but I, most of it, I like to think of myself as an innovator, yeah? and you don't judge me on that, uh, but I tell you what I have done so far. So in 2009, I founded Susie Partners. Susie Partners is an investment company uh, investing against climate change, or in other words, we, we finance the energy transition. So far, we have invested more than 2 billion euros equity in solar parks, wind parks, energy efficient streetlights, and the like. Uh, and we are still going on with that. However, I handed over the operational lead, and I'm now uh, just the president of the board. Um, in 2016, uh, I finally understood what the hell blockchain and Bitcoin is. Yeah? Luckily, uh, following uh, the advice of a friend of my Mark, I bought my first Bitcoins in 2012, but I had no clue what I was doing there. But in 2016, I finally got it, and I co-founded the Crypto Finance Group, which we sold last year to Deutsche Börse. Uh, this was one of the bigger exits in Switzerland, actually. And this is good because I now need that money to invest in my next big topic, which is longevity. Yeah? Now... Let me tell you a bit more about this longevity thing. Yeah? Some people get very old. Yeah? They live in the so-called blue zones. You might have heard about that. That's Sardinia. Uh, that's in Greek, uh, Greece. Yeah? Um, why? Uh, why? What happens with them? And to be honest, since a thousand years, people look at people who get older than the average and they try to find out what the hell do they do different. Or do they do something different? Is it just the DNA they have? What is it with that? Yeah? And so this science of longevity has made major steps in the last 20 years. Yeah? So 20 years ago, if you would have gone to your doctor and you would have asked him or her, why do we age? Yeah, the answer would have been, oh, this is genetical. Then your next question would have been, uh, explain to me what happens with my genes. And then it would have get blurry. Yeah? There was no clear understanding why we aged 20 years ago. There were a lot of hypotheses. Yeah? But in 2013, a paper was published by scientists from, I think it was uh, Tel Aviv, uh, Tokyo, uh, Harvard Medical School. So you know, I think it was eight authors. Yeah? And they found there is nine hallmarks of aging. There is nine reasons why we age. And all those reasons come from our cells. Our cell division gets worse and worse the older we get. Now, you don't have to read that. I know everybody hates slides with a lot of things on it, but I just want to tell you, nine reasons are now there. Uh, and as with every problem in the world, you define a problem. Uh, the problem is called aging. Aging is a sickness, we don't want it. So now we need to find the causes for that problem. And that's this. We now know why this problem exists. And this is great, because now we can start thinking about what the hell we should do against it. 
As always, when you know the root of a problem, then you can start working against it. Uh. So for the last 2,000 years, we did not know exactly. Uh. We just said, ah, aging is not cool, we should do something against. Uh. And there was a lot of you know, trial and errors. Now we know. Now we can work on it. And now for me, as an investor, but also as a son of parents who are now both above 70, this is really interesting. We can do something. Yeah? Um, science has made major moves in the last eight, nine years. Yeah? Um, tackling this aging thing. And how do we do it? Yeah, we don't, well, let's say we humans, we, we are not ideal test subjects because we get quite old, as I said, 83. So in order to find out if you drink this or eat that or do that, and you get one year older, I have to wait too long. So I need something which dies quite fast. May I introduce C. elegant? That's a worm. You cannot see with your eyes, it's really tiny. Now, why is this worm cool? This worm shares 60% of the DNA with us humans. Yeah? And so we can test a lot with that worm. And I can tell you, I was in the lab of, of Professor Ewald at, at ETH Zurich. He's a friend and also an advisory board member at, at my company, Maximon. Uh, we can extend the life of worms by 300% today. With medicaments which are available, well, medicaments with supplements which are available to humans as well. Now, if we want to get a bit closer to humans, we can check out mice. Mice are cute and they share 80% of DNA with humans. Yeah? So mice normally live about yeah, two years, maybe a bit longer. And then you also can see what, what can we change? What interventions can we do with mice to see whether they live longer? And I can tell you, the easiest one is don't give them much food. If you look here, CR means calorie restriction. So if you give a mouse 65% less food than a normal peer group mouse, the mouse life goes from yeah, 36 months to 55, 56, just with less food. Yeah. And now I was often asked by journalists who said, ah, oh, yeah, Tobias, uh, you are now moving to longevity. That's again only something for the super rich, yeah. No, it's not. This is the number one intervention everybody can do. Before you start spending money on supplements, before you go to Lanzerhof and whatever you do, <laughs> well, just leave food away. Yeah? Three, four days a week, you do intermittent fasting. That means 16 hours, no food. Basically, you don't take a breakfast or you don't take a dinner. And eight hours, you can take food. And you will have the biggest impact on your longevity before anything else comes. Now, if you don't like to starve, what else can you do? Uh, you can do high-intensity interval training. Yeah? It's a bit what we have done before, just faster. Yeah? Um, <laughs> And this works, yeah. So what, what, what I talk here is scientifically proven. I'm not talking about maybes, yeah. This is all on the light with, with science, with, with like a lot of test subjects. So we really can say, yes, that works. Um, and what you also can do, and I don't say if you don't like to do in this and if you don't like to do that, then take supplements. I say, if you already have started with like intermittent fasting and you do a lot of sport and high intensity, but you yet want to you know, improve your longevity, well, there are certain supplements you can take. Now, you all know that formula, I assume, yeah, that's NAD+. NAD+, is fantastic. What is it? It's an enzyme in all our body. Peak production we have when we are 20 years old, and from then on, goes down. Why is this bad? Because NAD+, is exactly what we need to regulate our mitochondria. The mitochondria is the power plants of our cells. Now, this is the reason why People in their 80s, you know, they sometimes uh, can develop diabetes, age-induced diabetes, because these power plants are not working efficiently anymore. The cool thing, and again, this is scientifically proven, is you can supplement your NAD plus levels from the outside. Yeah? You, you basically take it as pills or as, as uh, intravenous, and you really improve it. I myself take now NAD plus, but basically you take a precursor called NMN or NR, uh, since roughly one and a half years. And I must say, my energy level, you can see my energy, so it really was going up. Yeah? And uh, this is something you can safely try. You should not do it, however, if you had cancer already. Because the problem is also cancer cells are cells, and cancer cells have mitochondria as well, and we don't want cancer cells to be more active and efficient. Yeah? However, if you are like, you know, go and talk to your doctor, does it do a blood check, and so on, if you're in good health, this is something you can do without much risk, and you will... I would say within three months, see quite a positive effect. The other thing is resveratrol. 
Who has heard of resveratrol in here? Uh, a lot of people. Why have you heard about it? Because it's in wine. Yeah. <laughs> Does this mean that you all should drink a lot of red wine? By the way, it's, it's only in the dark grapes. It's not in the white grapes. So sorry for the champagne lovers. Um, no, I mean, look, honestly, there is resveratrol in grapes, but by far not enough that you can drink a glass of wine and think, wow, now I'm done. You would have to drink five liters a day, and this would kill you another way around. So, no, wine is not the solution. Yeah? A glass of red wine doesn't hurt you, but it's not the way of, of resveratrol intake. Yeah? Resveratrol you can take as supplements as well. Uh, it has many uh, beneficial uh, side effects. One of them is, by the way, that it also increases, um, how shall I say, the efficiency of NAD+, the bioavailability. Though bioavailability means, you know, what is the percentage from what you take in which really arrives in your cells? And so resveratrol, together with some other uh, ingredients, can increase the NAD+, bioavailability. Now, if you combine a lot of these supplements together, uh, here you have rapamycin and uh, tramatinib and whatever. Yeah? And we talk here about a fly. This is a very uh, simple test. You just can see. Um, the more you ta take a converter, the more you can increase your lifespan. Uh, uh, is this all true for humans? No, science is not yet that far. There is a lot of question marks. So I told you about these nine hallmarks. Of these nine hallmarks, I think we have a pretty good idea what we can do with five of them. Yeah. Um, one of them, yeah, telomere attrition, we can rejuvenate. This, this, is, this is crazy. I mean, there we can get younger. In the, all the others, we just can slow down aging so far. And with four of them, we don't have a very clear idea. There is assumptions and theories, but much more research has to be done. And of course, uh, you know, speaking as an investor again, uh, this is a super interesting field because when we look at the world anti-aging supplement market, uh, past and future, this is growing very fast. So that's a business you want to be in. Um, for that reason, uh, we have founded at Maximon, I will talk about Maximon later, uh, our first company called Avea. It's a supplement company, science-based, longevity supplements. And honestly, I make a bet with you, within five years, that's a unicorn. This is growing fast, and the world likes Swiss supplements versus something you buy on Amazon or so. So uh, have a look at aveyalife.com. Um, uh, yeah, you also can basically, I can give you a code if you want to have your first order with a rebate. Uh, and it's good quality, tell you that. But now, the next question. We are very different people in here, yeah? Uh, women and men, uh, different age groups, uh, different blood groups, DNA is different, and so on. Who has to take what? And this is an answer we don't have yet today. So, tailor-made medicine, but also tailor-made supplements are not yet really there. And that's something we need to learn a lot about. We need basically big data. We need to understand why a woman, for example, who already had a child needs different supplementation than a woman in the same age who had not yet a child. That's a fact, by the way. Yeah? So we need to understand that. Um, we need tailor-made longevity interventions. And that's another field uh, where I founded, well, we, we, where we founded a company. It's called Biolitica. Biolitica is a health data platform. Uh, where we basically combine all sources of health data from the DNA, from wearables, and so on, yeah? whatever is available, and try to find those connections in order that in some years we will be able to tell you, ah, oh, you are male, 36 years old, you're a blood group, you know, whatever, B, negative resource, and so on. You should do this and you should not do that. It's quite amazing what you can achieve with a DNA test already today, also based on what food you should eat and what you shouldn't, and so on. So I suggest uh, you all do one. I did it. It's, it's, it's amazing. I found out things I would never have thought about. But, you know, as with many topics, big data in health here is, is absolutely important. And in some years, I think we will be able to really tell the individu individual person what he or she has to do to reach perfect longevity. Now, you always saw the logo, Maximon. What is Maximon? Maximon is a longevity company builder. Uh, not so different from what we have heard from Leo before. Uh, we help building companies. Now, how do we do that? Uh, from scratch, so I should have mentioned. We team up. Uh, me and my partners, we all are entrepreneurs. We have built several companies. Uh, we all did the mistakes, so we can help entrepreneurs now to avoid mistakes. Uh. Teaming up means I have a day job. I go and work with these companies. I'm not just an advisor, I'm a board member. Yeah? I'm part of the team. As, as long until these companies basically are on a certain level, uh, and then, of course, you know, the team is growing itself further, and we from Maximon then look at the next company. 
Uh, we provide capital until Series A. That means we provide capital of up to 10 million. I myself, I have invested now with more than 10 million in the topic of longevity, and I invite you to co-invest with me. It, it, it's, uh, I would not do it if I would not also see like a, a huge return potential. We provide an ecosystem, very important. Yeah? These, these companies need to work together. And for once, I do not even see competition yet. This is such an early field that we need more players, and those players can well work together. I do not think that they are competitors, it's just we need more coming together. Yeah? Competition is coming much later. As I said, we work only science and evidence-based. I think this is super important in this topic. We build three to four companies a year. We validate those companies very carefully before we throw money at them. So it's about six to 12 months until we really make an investment decision. And we want to build unicorns, yeah? must, must be scalable. Now, can I promise that all of the companies we build are unicorns? No, but that is clearly the aim of it. We also have the Longevity Co-Investment Fund. So if any of you thinks the topic is hot and wants to invest alongside myself, ask me. I'm here over dinner. Um, we raised 100 million. Uh, the first uh, 6.6 .6 we brought in ourselves. Um, so there is a good alignment of interest. We do a conference, and by the way, we do it up here in Gstaad. It's called the Longevity Investors Conference. Yeah? So that's the homepage. Um, it will be 28th and 29th, and there you will learn much more than in the, in the seven, eight minutes I had here. And if you're interested, we have written a compendium where we brought together all the knowledge we could find of what you can do today for your longevity. I have some exemplar, exemplars here, so come to me if you want one. But you know, you're a modern, you can basically screen uh, the QR code here, you download it then yourselves. I'll give you some time to do that. And let me know what you think about it as well. It's really fresh of press, we have it since two weeks. Yeah, and with this I'm at the end. I, I hope that I could give you a bit of an idea of what longevity is and what we are doing here. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> Tobias. That was such an interesting speech, and we have already a question, yes. <laughs> From the usual question. <laughs> yeah, the usual subjects. Uh, sub subjects. Uh, Tobias, um, you talked about longevity in a medical way, but is, how, how big would you say is the environmental impact on longevity, which you can't influence with medicine? It just depends on where you live, whether it's polluted, whether it's on high altitude, whether it's low altitude, whether we have uh, climate change or don't have climate change. W what is your assessment on that? I'm sure you have a business model around this as you have always had around everything. Yeah, look, uh, I mean, you're right. Uh, there is social component, environmental component. If you just eat healthy, uh, but you're lonely, you will not live very long, I guess, or at least you would live a miserable life. Uh? Uh, same goes if you if you are in a super polluted area uh, and, and you eat a lot of carrots, but you sm you have the smoke coming through your nose, probably also bad. Look, this is a complex system, and the good thing, I mean, what you, what you say, yeah, the good thing is in all of these areas of challenges, you can build companies. Yeah, um, you know, we we are looking at far more opportunities than just about supplements. Yeah? We we think about. Uh, right now we're in the validation of co-living for seniors, going to the social aspect. You know, if you are 75 and top fit, you don't want to live alone in a big house. Maybe you want to have peers, but yet you don't want to be in a student living community. You want to have like, you know, a bit of privacy and so on. So there is new business models coming up and, and climate change. I mean, on the one hand, you can say you will have a bit more time to fight climate change, which, which is good. On the other hand, if we have more humans getting older and they don't change their behavior, we are even running faster into the problem. Uh, so there is a lot of unsolved things coming up. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm interested to work on all of them. That's why we have a company builder. So we are not limiting ourselves to one company, but as, as I said, it's like three to four per year we build. Uh, and we have to, because there is a lot of issues coming up. Yeah, yeah thank you very much. Can we, can we sum it up briefly? So not eat too much. <laughs> Move your body, go into the forest, yeah, yeah. and um, it's not possible without um, added nutrition, is it so? Well, it, 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 there's a lot possible with eating less and healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, so if, if you change your diet away from sugar and you, sh you stop smoking and all the things which are basically clear, yeah, you achieve a lot. I would say, you know, supplements thing can bring you forward based on that level, but you cannot out supplement a bad diet. That doesn't work. Yeah? Uh, so you, you need to have certain changes in your life. Uh, and you know, you can start with little things. Yeah? I mean, it's really 
try intermittent fasting once a week, always on Wednesday you don't have breakfast. This also means no sugar in your coffee. Mm -hmm. See what it does to you. Uh, for me, I give you one small story. Um, I changed my diet January 2020. And I said, okay, now I try vegan. And honestly, before I was a, I don't give a shit, diet eater. Yeah? <laughs> I said, hey, I do a lot of sports, so I can eat what I want. And then I said, okay, now let me try it, you know, like January 2020. And then the lockdown came, vegan was quite easy. Hey, my hay fever is gone. Just like that. And so you, you have surprising effects. And I mm -hmm. think, you know, it's very difficult to say from one day to the other. So from now on, I lead a longevity life and I do everything which is written in this, in this compendium I've seen. That's tough, yeah? But you can add little steps and then you see little successes which, which makes it easier to add yeah, more. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Hot and cold showers, by the way, work too. Yeah, that's good too. <laughs> Wim Hof. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you so much. That was very inspiring. Tobias, an applause for you. Wow.